So how are diets going to change in the future and why is it important to look ahead? First thing to point out is that diets are absolutely core to human health. It's probably the most important factor both for hunger and for obesity and overweight. One of the things that is perhaps unique about this activity, this foresight into the future, is that we're not just looking at agricultural production and food trends in, in food production, but we're linking production trends globally, uh, sales of different foods globally, as well as data on consumption. So the challenge really is to deliver more vegetables, more um, cost-effectively to poor communities. And this work package is going to look at global trends, how uh, changes over the next 20 years might affect the availability and production and possibly even the, the change in consumer behavior that would increase vegetables and fruit and diets. Part of the work within the project I'm particularly interested in is to try and work out how diets will change into the future and what consequences this will have for health, both good consequences, people moving out of being undernourished, and also the detrimental consequences, what happens as people uh, adopt diets that lead to non-communicable diseases. Sustainability of the food production system is at the heart of being able to generate um, a diverse diet with the right micronutrients um, for people around the world. Uh, people have commonly said if you've got a healthy soil you'll also have a healthy population. So thinking about how you return to the soil the soil nutrients, the moisture, the biodiversity that enable that soil to continue to, to generate good crops. That, that has to be a key part of thinking about the diets of the future. So the work I'm looking at is on characterising food systems, looking at the historical trajectories of how food systems have changed and how that's going to influence the diets that we're going to eat in the future. And it's really important to look at those aspects because food systems affect what we eat and the different policies and processes in those food systems can be levered in order to encourage healthier and more nutritious diets. People don't just eat nutrients, they don't eat just foods, they eat meals. So how are diets going to change in the future? I think that's the big question for this Foresight programme. If current trends and, and recent trends are anything to go by, diets are going to get more and more unhealthy. So we need to figure out what can policymakers do to change the environment within which people make food choices and how can we change the choices that people make to make sure that diets move away from unhealthy towards healthy. And if we don't do that, then health budgets are going to be consumed by the consequences of bad diets and economic growth is going to suffer and of course people will suffer.